Myself and Chloe have shared many memories together in the time we've been friends, but I'm not going to go into full detail and embarrass her in front of all of you. And in all honesty, she had her share of embarrassment on the Hindu. So I think I'll leave it with those select few stories for the select few people that were there on the day. I'm so happy you both found each other. Not that it was hard with Luke basically living at the back of the garden. I still remember Chloe texting me all giddy that Luke had brought her round ice cream when she was ill with a sore throat all that time ago. And we all know food is the way to her heart, so Luke got that straight in the bag. <laughs> You have both accomplished so much already with firstly bringing Hudson into the world and giving me the pleasure of becoming an auntie for the first time and allowing me to be a part of his life as well as recently buying your own home together and now you're finally married. I won't stand here and go on forever because I did only have a baby three weeks ago and I'm very hormonal and I might start to cry. <laughs> she says as she starts to cry. <laughs> on a serious note, Chloe, I want you to know how much I love you and how proud I am to be your best friend. I will always be so grateful to have a friend as caring and supportive as you and who is always there no matter what. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, I'm forever grateful to you for all you've done for me. My children are so lucky to have you for an auntie and to be so and to be loved so dearly by you. Thank you for always treating them as your own and loving them unconditionally. Luke, thank you for loving and supporting Chloe even on her worst days. Thank you for taking care of her and always being her support when she needs it. To both of you, congratulations and may you spend eternity in pure happiness and love. And if that fails, Chloe, don't worry, you can always come back to your true love anyway. I'll always be waiting. <laughs> Congratulations. Chloe, I give you this ring as a token of our marriage, as a token of our marriage. and as a lasting reminder of the promises we have made here today. I've been asked many, many, many times, Jason, how much did his wedding cost? So I did write it all down, but Helen took the piece of paper off me and hid it in a ridiculously expensive but lovely outfit she has on. <laughs> but in all seriousness, 
I've had 25 years to prepare a father of the bride speech for my daughter, my princess. But I'm still left standing here today speechless at how beautiful she looks. I know Chloe will make an amazing wife and mum. I know this because if she's anything like her mother, she'll be making you smile even 30 years on. Luke, Luke, you're a lucky man. Chloe has made me the happiest man alive. Daddy. And I thank you, Chloe, for becoming Dad, my wife. Yes? Mummy got a nugging. Mummy got a nugging. Mummy's got a wedding. <laughs> Please all join me to raise a glass to my beautiful wife, to Chloe. When me and Chloe first met each other, I found out she lived at the bottom of the garden. Not, not literally, but in the house behind. It wasn't long before we became inseparable. I knew then that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. After three great years, we were then blessed with our son, Hudson, who has certainly kept us both on our toes and most probably will do for many years to come. Thank you. 